Let's read it. 818. Isaiah 818. Here we go. Let's read together. Can we read together? One, two, three. Come on, guys. I, you had breakfast. Let's read it together as we really say it. Like, come on, one, two, three. Hear and I. Then the children whom the Lord has given me, we are the signs and wonders in Israel. From the Lord of hosts who dwells in Mount Zion. Hallelujah. I don't know if you got it. Fritz of Padesco, read it again. Jesus, help my people, Lord. Here, Isaiah is saying, the prophet Isaiah is saying, I and my children, my daughter and my daughter, will be good for Yahweh. My children, I and my children, will be what? Signs and wonders. Miracles. They will be. Come on, I want you to say that. I, come on, say it like you believe it. I and my children, if you don't have a children, you're going to have a children. If you're not married, one day you will have children. Start prophesying over it. I and my children. Come on, say it together. Will be signs and wonders. When they dwell in God's house. When they live in Zion. When God dwells in you. When God resides inside of you, you become a signs and wonders for God. Hallelujah. How many believe that God wants you to walk in wonders and miracles? How many know that our God is a miracle working God? Do you know Christians should walk in miracle every day? Christian life is not a miracle. It's only on one Sunday or one time. God wants you to walk in miracle every day. He is a miracle working God. How many know that is a miracle? He is a miracle. Come on, you believe? Give me a He's a, he's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle. He's a wonder. He's a miracle working God. Oh, Chamatkar Ishwar Head. Oh, Chamatkar Ishwar Head. वो चमत्कारी वो अद्भुत वो चमत्कारी ईश्वर है सिंगी इज अ मिरेकल वर्किंग गॉड सिंगी टुगेदर इज अ मिरेकल वर्किंग गॉड इज अ वंडर इज अ मिरेकल इज अ वर्किंग वर्किंग गॉड इज अ मिरेकल वर्किंग गॉड is a miracle if you want miracle sing it is a miracle is a wonder is a miracle working god was move is a miracle working god is a miracle working god is a miracle is a wonder is a miracle working I ne adbuta devaru telugu me I ne devaru devaru I ne adbuta I ne adbuta I ne adbuta devaru was mo I ne adbuta devaru I ne adbuta devaru I ne ashriya I ne adbuta I ne ad देवड़ पंजाबी में चमत्कारी ईश्वर है ओ जी हां चमत्कारी ईश्वर है चमत्कारी अद्भुत ओ चमत्कारी ईश्वर है कम ऑन बिलीव इज अ मिरेकल वर्किंग गॉड इज अ मिरेकल डू यू बिलीव दैट इज अ मिरेकल is a wonder is a miracle is a 
चमत्कारी ईश्वर है चमत्कारी 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 मैं बेटा मैं चमत्कारी बेटा हूं मैं चमत्कारी मैं अद्भुत मैं चमत्कारी बेटा हूं बोली दे मैं चमत्कारी बेटा हूं फिर चैंड मैं चमत्कारी बेटा हूं बेटी मैं चमत्कार मैं चमत्कारी बिलीव दैट हे लिसन लिसन यू नो यू नीड टू नो हु यू आर इफ यू नो जग्गी इज पंजाबी बिकॉज़ हिज फादर वाज अ पंजाबी हेलो एलिस इज मद्रासी बिकॉज़ हिज फादर वाज अ मद्रासी यू गेट इट थ्रू व्हाट यू आर बिकॉज़ योर फादर वाज If you know your father is a miracle worker, you are a miracle worker. Come on. If you believe that your father in heaven does miracle, then you need to know that you are a miracle worker. You know, if your father was a rich, you become rich. You have to do nothing. All you have to do is to born in that family. If you born into that family, all the wealth of that father becomes yours. Hallelujah. I want you to understand my friend that when God makes you his child you have everything that heaven has for you. You should walk in that miracle every day. You must believe it. See us Christians are crying all the time. I feel sometimes God give me Lord bless me. Oh, I'm a sinner Lord for you. God bless come on beta you chamatkar. You are made for right. I am you my son don't act like beggar don't just keep crying start to know who you are and act like it behave like it You getting through If you don't understand this you'll never have it The Bible tells us that we have been adopted to the family of God How many you know that How many you know go Ephesians 1:5 If you see ki patri pehla adhyay panchwa pad Ephesians 1:5 it says like that God decided in advance said me advance come on say in advance to adopt us into his own family come on he adopted you into his own family by bringing him to himself through Jesus Christ this is when he wanted to do This is what he wanted to do and gave him great pleasure gave him what great pleasure i like that in hindi usne prem se priti hokar aadi mein hi nirdharit kar diya ki hum yeshu masi ke dwara uske daavatwa santan bane ya parmeshwar ki mal main ichha se hua god in advance saw you as his son even though you did not saw you none of us saw ourselves fit and worthy and we will never be worthy listen to me you will never be good enough to become a child of god with your own strength because we all are sinners none of us are fit to even go before god but god in his mercy chose you from the mother's womb before even you were born he knew you and he pulled you out to become his son his daughter because there's a purpose He chose us. Hallelujah! In advance, say with me in advance. <laughs> the, the problem with this to understand the love of God is impossible. The human mind can never comprehend God's love. How can you love me when I do nothing for you? I don't deserve. I actually, you know, too many Christians say we crucify Jesus. Our sins are crucified. I've been saying that. I've been thinking of my sin. Really, it wasn't my sin. You know, it wasn't. what crucified jesus it was his love for mankind uska pyar insaan ke liye he loved us so much that while we were still sinner christ died for us listen price was already paid before even you this it is impossible to comprehend the human mind of this awesome god the infinite god the awesome amazing god who loves us so much so he says come on you are my son 
you have been what adopted say with me adopted jor se bolna adopted all the kids can go to kids church thank you lakshmi cuz i can keep preaching i just i just started my preaching now adopted say with me adopted you know when you adopt a child this adoption process has been a very old process purane samayon mein uh my grandfather adopted some children growing up i remember my dad's dad adopted people in olden days you adopt people family members your neighbor ke bacche and you know you bring them in your home you make them as a part of you one of the thing was that when you adopt someone jab aap kisi ko leke aate the there would be something happening one of the thing that would happen is that that child will lose his own family member and become a part of the new family you getting through jab aap us parivar ko chhod kar jiska koi nahi tha maybe you had a bad family bad father bad mother when you are adopted to this new family you do not live the way you lived you have you have nothing to do with that family you been become a part of this family you had to understand that that is what happens when we become adopted to god's family the bible says we were once in the kingdom of darkness now we have been translated into the kingdom of light jyoti ke santan mein so there is a change that takes place when we accept christ when christ comes into our life if you are a born again believer listen to me if you are truly a born again believer the first thing god does is shifts you from the darkness into the light there is a kingdom shift there is a change of government the change of leadership you no longer are governed by the evil powers now you're governed by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah you're getting through and you need to understand that when god is in you and he is adopted you you do different thing this home i had a story about raju raju was adopted from a family that was very abusive he was not able to be very very young age and however there were some things he would do into this new family and his father would say son in this home we don't do the way you did that before in this home we don't behave the way we behave can we get a better mic is that the working yeah we don't behave the way we behave this home we don't treat like the way other we treat brother we don't talk the way we talk because that is how you used to talk but now you have become a new family in this family our language changes our behavior changes our lifestyle changes we do not live the way we used to be because i have been adopted to the new family hallelujah you getting through so many christians don't understand just taking baptism does not make you christian just because you're born in christian doesn't make you christian listen a true child of god the first thing happens there is a government shifting there is a change of leadership over your life there is a shift there is a new kingdom new law new principle that works from you hallelujah you have to know that you got to believe that that i am shifted into the marvelous light why because that i could declare the glory of god parameshwar ki mahima ko main prakat kar sakta god shifts you brings you in his kingdom because there is a purpose of god in you so you have to understand that you have been adopted and therefore in this new kingdom you lose the family but you have a new family and your father hallelujah and in this family that adopted you has the best cars the best house and and you are the best thing that family may not have it but now you got this family you are part of, you enjoy all the blessing of this family come on and i maybe you didn't had your, uh, the family you grew up we had no food there was not enough food there was not enough great cars and great comfort life now you moved in into this new family where there's so much comfort in fact you don't even remember you grew up and when you realize that where you come who you are and how god you become so grateful to god that i wasn't worthy but god you adopted me to make you be a part of a family mas yogi nahi tha lekin aapne mujhko apna beta banaya and so understand that let's for romans chapter 5 verse 15 8 chapter 8 verse 15 says for you have not received the spirit of slavery leading to fear against you but you have received the spirit of adoption save me adoption as a son by which you cry out abba father so when you become adopted there is something happens in the spirit man your inner man you your inner man is also shifted see uh, in the natural adoption they, the parents want you to become like them jab jis parivar ko jaise agar jo baap 
बच्चे को बाहर से लाता है वो चाहता है कि वो हमारे घर का तरीका सीखे तौर सीखे हमारे कल्चर को सीखे हमारे लैंग्वेज को सीखे हमारे खाने को सीखे हमारे रीति रिवाज को सीखे दैट इज हाउ अर्थली फादर वॉन्ट्स गेटिंग थ्रू समझ रहे हैं आप स्पिरिचुअली द सेम बट देर इज अ शिफ्ट दैट गॉड डज इज नॉट ओनली बाई वॉन्टिंग बट देर इज अ शिफ्ट नेचर चेंजिंग इन साइड वेन द नेचर चेंजेस एवरीथिंग चेंजेस See, you don't have to change outside when inside is changed. The nature change. Kutta apne aap bhokta hai. You don't have to tell. You don't have to teach dog how to bark. You're getting through. It's a nature of a dog to bark. When a sinner becomes saint, it becomes a nature of a saint to live a righteous life. Jab ek aadmi dharmi ho jata hai. When you are a sinner, you lived like a sinner. It was natural for a sinner to sin. Come on. Uh, you are not a sinner because you sin you are a, you, you are a sinner and that's why you sin aap paap karte hain isliye paapi nahi hai aap paapi hain karke paap karte hain samajh rahe hain aur paap ka gun hamare andar mein hai har ek jab hum prabhu ke but jab hum prabhu ke raj mein aate hain ek naye raj naye raj mein now we have this new power working in us holy second peter chapter 1 and verse 3 come on holy we are the bible says verse 4 says we are partaker verse 4 he says we are partaker of divine knowledge divine nature hindi mein kya likha hai divine partaker of divine nature verse 4 says having received the uh, it says it says like here by which we have been given to us an exceeding great precious promise through this that you might partaker of the divine nature say when the divine nature that means the day i get born again i get connected to the divine nature of god in me the divinity of god the characteristic of god is changed from inside out and now i want to live godly life i want to live righteous life i want to do life do right life a lot of people think well pastor i become christian remember if you read book of x chapter 8 there is a story of a guy called simeon i was talking about it a few days ago uh, yesterday i think simeon was a a, a witchcraft guy he would do a magician he was a magic maker he was the whole city would come people were amazed by him he had great power great science if you read book of acts 8 chapter 8 you will find the story and and the bible says that he actually believed jesus and he began to follow peter he was baptized by other deep apostles and when peter came and he started to lay his hand on people they started to receive holy spirit and he said man i wish i can also have the same power if i put my hand people will receive the spiritual gift i want it so he goes to peter and said peter can you sell me how much money you need i want that power <laughs> and this is what peter said peter said you are wicked evil man you want to buy the power by your money may you be corrupted there is a deceitness in your heart too many people today go in ministry wanting to show themselves that they are pastors they are leaders they are, they are not but they have no call of god they are not chosen to do that and they want to demand and that's why they mess up today the church of body of christ is messed up because of people like that don't do anything that god has you can never buy by your own strength apne taakat se aap ishwar ke samarth ko uski anointing ko khareed nahi sakte only god is the one who gives you the anointing hello and if god anoints you nobody can put you down simple it is if god puts his hand on you nobody can no matter how much men are against you if god is with you who can be against you but don't do if god hasn't told you to don't take steps of faith and tens of god no 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 if god hasn't don't try to as amazing people say god told me to go and god told me i when somebody comes and god told me i just okay god told me then i am nothing there do yourself because god bola bhai मैं थोड़ी ना मैं गॉड नहीं हूं आप गॉड को दे दिए जगह अरे गॉड आपके दौर आई वुड से आई फील गॉड इज सेइंग दैट और आई हर्ड मे बी आई एम नॉट पास्टर कैन यू क्लेरिफाई मी ऑफन पीपल गेट मैरिड एंड से पास्टर हम शादी करें मांगता है दे ब्रिंग दिस कपल और दिखा मैं गॉड हमें बोला शादी करो देन आफ्टर टू डेज के बाद क्या झगड़ा हो गया वाई दैट हैपन बी गॉड इन टेल यू यू जस्ट मेड अप योर स्टोरी यू यू आर अट्रैक्ट बाई योर ओन फ्लशली डिजायर नाउ यू रीपिंग यूर क्राइंग बिकॉज यू डिड योर ओन स्टेप and whatever you do in naturally you have to pay a price forever abraham still cries today because he did things he could not wait for the spirit of god to do things he did with his own wisdom with his own strength and there was a holy smell light came out of it 
whenever you do with your own strength you will have that's why we need to understand we have a divine nature god is within us god's power we must be so strongly connected see the problem with us we only connect god on sunday or on on friday or few days or in the morning sunday morning or every day in the morning and then evening and we do but we are not connected to him all the, the thing is we got to understand you are connected with god all the time uski pasthati aapke sath hamesha hai andar hai aapko believe karna ki wo mere andar hai amen he is in me by his spirit he dwells in me and therefore i must talk to him god is a talking god how many know god is a talking how many believe Miss, if you read Bible and God didn't speak to you, something is wrong. He loves conversation. In fact, he talked to sinners. I just told you, he talked to God. He, uh, he talked to Cain. He talked to Noah. I mean, throughout the Bible, he talked to people. Even the wicked people, he talked to. Do you know they don't? You don't have to be a Christian. To, God is still talking to non-Christian. Hello, unbelievers are also being permission to talk. 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 पुराने समय में परमेश्वर ने नबियों के द्वारा बात किया इस अंतिम दिनों में परमेश्वर अपने वचन के द्वारा हमसे बात कर रहा है अपने पुत्र प्रभु गॉड इज टॉकिंग वॉट इज है रिलेशनशिप दे लिविंग आउट ऑफ रिलीजन एंड इफ यू लिव लाइक ए रिलीजन यू विल डाई एज ए रिलीजियस मैन एंड यूल गो टू हेल्थ टेल यू मेनी गुड क्रिश्चियन विल बी इन हेल्थ बिकॉज यूर डूइंग टू गुड यूर गिविंग यूर ऑफरिंग you're praying you're coming to church but you're going to hell i'm telling you that because god said i don't know you you wicked man you never did my will please 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 start living with the relationship with god start hearing the voice of god don't be simian simian was in church offering prayer worship yet he was missing there was wickedness inside that's why make sure your heart is so important god only deals with heart not with your head he always looks at the heart if your heart is not right get it right repent become humble become small before god and say god i need change hallelujah god is a miracle worker and he wants to do a miracle in your life hallelujah hallelujah so i i really believe as a you know when you get saved you get transferred into the kingdom of god and there something happens One of the thing that God Jesus did was a miracle in marriage. Did you know the first miracle Jesus did was in marriage? Listen, every marriage, listen to me all the married couple, you must have the first miracle in your marriage. Every family Listen to me, every family must have a miracle in their home first. Because if there's no miracle in your marriage, you cannot serve God. Without a miracle in our marriage, If you don't walk and experience a miracle in your relationship you cannot enjoy outside there you can't serve god you can't be effective leader you can't be in kingdom if your marriage is not strong if your husband and wife are not united there is no joy and you know the bible says they they gave first wine but achhi wine pehle the bible kehti hai naukar ne bola pehle to achhi da acha dakhras diya jata baad mein jab peel hote hain to chak jane ke baad lower grade ka dakhras diya jata Why was Dakaras in wedding days? Why uh, wine was served? It's a symbol of joy. Hello, it's a symbol of joy. So, in in a, isn't amazing in the natural world out there when you newly get married, there's a lots of joy. Nay, nay, jab shadi karte ho, pehle saal first six month, kitna anand, kitna joy. Hi, honey, flower, chocolate, darling, beautiful name. You call so many different names. First year. but as you get older the wine should be getting better wine is getting the worse wine now wife look that side husband look that side hardly talking why because they lost the joy they give it, it see when you are born again believer a born again believer will have a better wine for the last time jesus said you serve good wine for uh, a good wine is less for love but I, i believe god wants you to have the good wine for the last not for the leftover time aapke budhape ka old age has to have more joy more excitement in your relationship in your family in your children's life there should be more joy because you are coming in the old age not going the other way around hallelujah oh 
How would that happen? When you have Jesus in your life. When a husband is walking with Jesus and wife is walking with Jesus and they keep walking, I will tell you the, the longer you walk, the closer you become because both of you. What will happen? It becomes one. But when one is walking, the other is not walking, you are in trouble. That's why I tell people, don't get married to unsafe people. Young people, don't entangle to guy and just say, I fall in love. Usko baad mein main convert kar dungi. Na na na. Ek aur naya atma jitun. Aaj kal devil bolta. Ek naya atma main la rahi hu. La raha hu. Atma tera bhi kho jayega uske saath mein. Ye ye. Please, young people, don't get entangled. I would rather not live unmarried life. Live unmarried. Shanti se jio. Then a married life with a hell in your life. Every day gali khara, sarap pi ke khara. Then you are crying and say, God, what did I do? And parents don't pressure their children to get married. Sadi karo, tum sadi karna sadi. Trust God, God will make. Piche wale young people, you guys need to get married. Then you'll. Jitna lo sadi se bhakare, you need to make sure you get married. God has a time, but don't look after your own. Don't try to make your own thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. So God says, I will make you a miracle, understanding that God dwells in you, and He wants to live in you. You know, I, I really believe in First Peter. God talks about how He's given us His nature, and I believe as a as a nature of us, we should walk in miracle, we should live in miracle, we should expect miracle, we should believe for miracle, we should experience miracle every day. Some people don't understand, you know. I, I sometimes look, and man, when we look at our own life, so how much miracle God has done for us. How much miracle God does every day? I don't know where you, if, if you can't even see a miracle of God. Uh, do you know that even opening your eyes is a miracle? <laughs> your body has so much miracle of just even functioning itself. It's a miracle. You miracle for your If you think everything that God does is a miracle, my friend. How many car accidents, how many times you feel when you're driving, you sleep in the driving and God, oh, he kept you up. He's a miracle worker. Amen? Come on, he's a miracle working God. And you got to know that miracle nature is in me. I am a child who can walk in miracle. I can experience miracle. I want to believe for a miracle every day. Walking in miracle. Why? Because there are nature of God is in me. Hallelujah. I want you to understand who, study the word in Christ. Go do a Google, say in Christ and read all the Bible verses. There are more than 700 verses about who you are in Christ. If you just study and just start reading and meditating, I will tell you within three to six months, you'll walk in a different level. We just start believing it. See, how you see yourself is how you'll see others. Thank you. You're getting through? How I see myself is how I will see others. So if I see myself as a sinner and bad man, I see everybody bad. If I lived an adulterous life, I was a bad man, and then I will think, oh, we see here. If I was a, a greedy and covetous person, Lalchita, then I will also think, oh, we see here. It's because what is inside is how you see the lenses of your heart. That's why we got to work more inside. We got to start saying, I am the righteousness of God. Say with me, I am with the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. See, when God's spirit comes in, he starts, go, go to 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 7. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 7. But the manifestation of the spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. How many of you know that Holy Spirit lives in you? Right? Now that Spirit wants to manifest. Say with me, manifest. Manifest ka matlab hai to reveal, to, to show off. Uh, to come out of you, to do. So the Spirit of God that is inside of you wants you to do something. He wants you to manifest. Not to just watch and come to church and sing song, say hallelujah. He wants to manifest in you, through you, uh, and it's for all. It's not for, 
just for you. Re remember, when God gives you gift, that gift is always for others. When you buy a gift, hello, you don't buy a gift for yourself. You say, I'm buying a gift for myself. I laugh when people say, I'm buying a gift for whom? It's for myself. Huh? You don't buy a gift for yourself. You buy a gift for others. And he says, you treat yourself, my children. Look. It's the wrong doctrine they got. In Jesus' name, get out of the mind. You buy a gift for others, right? Hello? When God gives you gift in the anointing, it's never for you, it's for others. In the book of Acts, it says that when they were together, the 120 people, how many people were there on the day of Pentecost? Come on, come on, tell me how many people. Lift your hand if there was 120 people. Lift your hand. How many, how many people in the day of Pentecost were there? They look dull. You don't read your Bible, na? Acts chapter 2. More than 3,000. Because 3,000 people were saved. So, you have to tell people. But, you have to tell people. 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 Tongue of fire. Suppose the tongue of fire. If you read the Bible, it says they set on each of their heads. Now, agar mere upar tongue baithega, tongue of fire baitha hai. Can I see? I've got tongue of fire, but I can't see. The tongue of fire is on. Tongue of fire, others can see. Dusre log dekhenge. When Holy Spirit comes, others will see. When the anointing is there, others will see. He's anointed man. How many you know that you have received the anointing already? Anointing abides in you. People will start noticing when you start to recognize that you yourself are anointed. If you don't know yourself, what will you do? you are. Please pray for me. God heal me. Make me, you know. When you are adopted, listen to me, church. When you are adopted, you just... My son doesn't have to make an appointment. God and daddy, I need to come. I need to meet you. Uh, I, I, I need this. You know what my children do? They just open the car, take out. Boom. Wow. Bap ka. Ghar mein hai, fridge, khana ka. Oi. Mera khana. They think this. Oh. That's, that's because they know their son. Listen. You don't beg. You stand. You take. Hello. You are a child of God. You better access to the heaven and say, everything of heaven's blessing is mine. I can take it. I can, healing is mine. Health is mine. Blessings are mine. Prosperity is mine. Well-being is mine. Everything I need is mine. I take it in Jesus' name. If you walk with that authority, you will walk in different level, my boy. You, you don't need to pray for miracle healing. You are going to walk in miracle because he is a miracle working God. Oh, miracle. I, because you, your father is a miracle worker and your child has to be a miracle worker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The problem is miracle. Why not? Because I activate not activating. But the spirit is not manifesting because you are not activating it. God miracle. Kar. God miracle. Kar. God is saying, Brother, keep your hand on your hand. Then you will go to the water. God miracle, मेरे परिवार को बचा मेरे परिवार बोल रहा थोड़ा बचा तो उसको बोल तो जीसस के बारे में मेरे बता तब मैं तेरे को शुरू कर मैं तेरे फैमिली को बचा लूँगा share the word unless we take the action जब तक हम कदम को नहीं we will never see experience of supernatural of God manifested I I really believe that I want you to begin to believe that Holy Spirit is inside you and is not just given you to sit inside and Enjoy, but to activate it. There was a prophet, there was a great uh, Catholic priest, uh, I forgot his name. Uh, he, was, he would always say, God is with me, God is in me, God is around me, God is above me, God is under me. And he would t say like that all the time, every day, every day, every day. And he began to say, God is in me, God is in me, God is with me, Christ is in me, Christ is around me, Christ is, uh, is above me, Christ is... And he would say that, he kept saying it for many times, for months and years. And, and he became so anointed because of his vision and his revelation, he shook the world. He became the history maker. You know why? 
because of his belief and realizing who he is. If you can just start to know Christ is in me, the hope of glory dwells in me. I am a new creation. My old is gone. New has come. Everything of past is nothing to do with me. My old memories of old life, everything I've done is covered up, is wiped out. I'm not no longer the part of that family. I'm a part of new family. I have a great future. I'm destined for blessing. I'll tell you, live differently. Hallelujah. And when you change, you will live differently. Hallelujah.